But recently, it's been a call for some change when it comes to spring break. And we all know how spring break goes. Especially if you're from the early 90s, I mean, from the night, well, early 90s, early mid 90s, 90s, early 2000s. And you remember Spring Bling, Spring mm-hmm. Break, uh, Cancun. What, what's, what's the joint that MTV used to do? Yeah, the Cancun joint. I uh, never made it to that. What's spring, what spring Bling? Spring Bling was BT. Spring Bling was uh, BT version. I don't know the MTV version, but I know they used to go. Oh, it was Spring Break Cancun. Ain't that what, what it was called or something like that? I don't think they had a like fancy that. name like Spring. Like uh, BT did. Might have been. I don't remember. But I, I, Spring Bling was BT's one, though. Yeah. But um, I get it. MTV Spring Break. That's what it was. That's what it was. MTV Spring Break. But we, we right. all remember those, those those moments and, and, and the fun and the festivities in it, right? We know how it used to yeah. go down. I'm pretty yeah. sure things got wild and crazy, you know. Celebrities coming out, doing their thing. Um... Spring break's always been a time. You know, we we enjoyed a little bit of spring break festivities when we were in college, our college years. Yeah. <laughs> it's necessary, right? Necessary. But one place that a lot of people love to hit is, of course, not always Cancun, and my cigar keeps burning out on me, not always Cancun, but Miami. Miami's always been a spring All break away from destination. Home. <laughs> always been a spring break destination. And, you know, it's when you're all you're out of towners and this is Chad, Chad Ocho single too, who's, who is um, a Miami native, I believe. Right. Miami is from Miami. Yes, right? he is. Yep. Miami. Um, so this is to his home. So maybe he can if, if, if he if he has some say in his, I wonder how he feels about it. But. Um, Miami's decided to do some changes. They decided to do some changes this year as far as how they're receiving spring break and a lot of rule changes, regulations. Um, curfews to where they're not allowing certain things to happen. And, you know, me and you, we've been down to Miami. We've enjoyed day drinking and cigars and walking up um, Ocean Drive and, you know, yeah. with our cups and cigars and doing our thing. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no more public intoxication and walking around with your beverages. Can't smoke on the beach. Not talking about you know, saying stuff other than cigars, you know, cigars. You know, so they're they they're, they're policing people being able to smoke and drink and do certain things and curfews, especially for those who are out of towners. And this is Miami. So what it sounds like to me is Miami's just over when it comes to spring break. They say stop bringing that out of town and stuff to our city. Stop turning up way too high. Yeah. Stop causing all these issues and doing too much when it comes to spring break. How yeah. you feel about that? And this is Miami, man. Well, man, it saddens me that we've reached this point where Miami had to get rid of the people. Miami said, you know what? We enjoy the money, but you can keep your money. It ain't worth the, the cost that you people are creating and the issues you're creating amongst our citizens. And I get it. I get it. We've officially done too much out there drinking and shooting and destroying the city, running it through the ground, not appreciative of someone else's home or the people that live there, ruining the experience for everybody, you know. And Florida's tired of their tax dollars having to clean up behind you fools after y'all leave. Yeah. And it, it, and you've ruined it, just like you ruined so much other stuff. We we said it in previous episodes, people ruin everything. You have everything. ruined Miami. Miami, you know how hard it is for a city to say, we don't want your money? You know how many millions of dollars they're turning away? That's how yeah. bad you people are. Yeah. yeah. You suck. You've ruined Miami for everybody. And now, and, and people are going to blame Florida like Florida wrong. But no, it's it's our fault. We're to blame. They yeah. want your money. But when it comes, when it gets bad enough to the point where they'll turn your money away, say, like, go somewhere you know else. Go spend it somewhere go else, somewhere. man, because y'all cost go more somewhere. than y'all make us. Yeah. Yeah. So all these out of towners coming from near and far, we're talking about all the way from New York and Chicago, they're going to Miami or we're going to Miami, you know, from 
Tennessee to Miami. People probably flying in from from Oregon to Miami. They 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 done California and LA en- enough. They want to go check yeah. out Miami, and Miami is saying, "We good. <laughs> we good. We good on that." We cool we on, on that, that, y'all. Y'all go y'all way, man. Y'all y'all done shot up the place too much. Y'all done had too many fist fights and stuff. We good, man. We only need that that type of atten- attention no more. That look is bad for us at this point in time. A shame. Yeah. And so now they just running on up to Orlando, ruining Orlando now. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for a lot of them getting it right now. <laughs> yeah, man. So with with Miami being. A, a, a home of yours and having a fond place in your heart, which I'm sure it does. Yeah. How, you, how, do, how do you feel about it? Do you, especially at our age that we're at now, right? And I want, I want, I want to get this twofold from you. So, if you were younger and experienced in Miami, how we experienced Miami in our 20s, and knowing what Miami meant to us in our 20s and the times that we had in Miami in our 20s, and now right. some youngsters are being denied that opportunity. You know, some some who are valid in their love of that type of environment, right? Not those who want to just come and be rambunctious, leave a bunch of just mess and then go back about their business and, and back to their hoods and doing their thing, you know. But what we've taken away from our trips to Miami and how we've enjoyed Miami or versus how you are now and saying, you know what, Miami's a place I want to come. And I want to go sit on my balcony and look at the Bay, Biscayne Bay and all this stuff and relax. And I don't want none of that mess. I'm good on it, too. I feel you, Miami. How, how, how are you like, how do you teeter with the with your idea of that being a thing for spring break? Is it I good to teeter at all? I am entirely on the side that you said last. I get that mess out of Miami. I don't want it there. <laughs> That's why I stand. I, 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 I have... I don't care what what uh what kid misses out on it at this point in time because you've allowed your constituents to ruin it for you. So you know, and get it out of there because me as an old man, when I come back, I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> you want so no parts I'm of gone. it? I'm gone. I feel you. I'm gone by the time I get there, so I can have a nice, peaceful trip with my family and enjoy it. Like you know what I mean? Like so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stand I'm clearly on the side of that. That's that's where I am now. You know, I get it. People who came and they did what they did, but we've always approached Miami differently. Mm -hmm. We wanted to see Miami on other levels. And I've always heard people who go to Miami like, ah, Miami spring break, I've done that. Or Miami's overplayed, uh, it's played out, I've I've, I've done it. And my thing with people when I hear that, it's like, if you think Miami is played out, you've never done Miami. Like you only got to a certain ceiling and you thought that that was it. Yeah. That's it. That's <laughs> so for those people who are you underachieved in Miami, <laughs> you, you underachieved. If you feel like you've topped out of Miami and you're in a certain text bracket, <laughs> you've underachieved in Miami. And yeah. like you said, good riddance to you. <laughs> yeah, you can go. You can go. You, can go. You, you, you done here? You done here? All right. Yeah. You ain't got to go back to Miami. We good on you. We don't need you. <laughs> yeah, go ruin some other city, man. Go spring break in Raleigh. How about that? Get out of here, though, man. We don't need or, you. Or go spring break in uh, San Antonio. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> they was and they was out of the river walk, man. It's like, yo, it ain't sick out here. Yeah. Other options, but not but 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 for real. But like just seeing it and saying, hey, look, there's other options. If this is not for you, go somewhere else. If Miami's played out, because I, I don't see how Miami, how Miami, if you do it right and you keep stepping up that level, it can never get played out. It can never get played out. You've played out yeah. what you're able to do and what you're yeah, able you're to do. As power. far as your income allows you to go in Miami or as far as your yeah. vision of life allows you to go. But yeah, it's more. I mean, that's the thing. Like, man, no, we. We, we, a lot of times, man, we got life messed up. Like, I guess we think there's something more magical out there, man. But the stuff we all have around us, everybody got in the world. You know, there are places in Africa, and Africa's looked down upon like it's just mm-hmm. this impoverished uh, continent. But it, the same stuff to do out there as it is out here. Like, we all yeah. kind of doing the same thing, but our land all looks slightly the different. The landscape is just different, so, yeah. The landscape is different. So there's always 
you're going to always find everything that you have to do in Miami, a city like that. Like maybe if you come to Atlanta, there's certain things you're going to lack because there's no beaches and there's no water. You know what I mean? But like Miami, it's, it's everything. You know what I'm saying? There's certain cities that got everything. You go to LA, you're going to have everything to do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Except for mountains and stuff, obviously. You know what I mean? Whatever the, the right. limitations of the land is, yeah. you know, but you, 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 you're not going and to stuff like Miami. That. You're not skiing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but yeah, man, your Miami can't get played out, man. Unless you just don't like that type of environment, then yeah, it ain't for you. It's played out. But as long as the environment is what you like, the actual city pretty much has what you need. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, I mean, if that's the case, Paris can get played out. Anywhere can get played out in the world if, if you ain't feeling you know the environment. <laughs> I've heard people complain about Paris. I've Me heard do. people complain about Paris. Do. And they say it ain't all that's cracked up to be, which Paris has never been like a, a, a destination for me. France overall, yes. French Riviera, uh, Riviera I want to be on the coast. Yeah. Nice, France. That's always been my aim. Yeah. Paris, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go over there and check it out. But Nice, yeah, at some point. that's where I'm trying to be. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But so. uh, the, the whole thing about things getting played out, I think when, it, when when it's called about being played out, it's you've played out your ability to experience certain things, especially when you talk about a place like Miami. I never want to hear anybody say that. Yeah, man. That's, that's where I stand. And they can go. If it's played out, go. And everything works in cycles anyway. If it's played out now, y'all go away for about 10 years and then it'll be popping again in another 10 years for the next generation. You know, yeah. this generation, they can go find something else to do, man. It's, and man, go look on the internet and, and there's all kind of videos posted telling you exciting places to go visit, man. Like you say, go, go hang out in El Paso or something, man. Go somewhere else, man. Go to <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> hang out in Nebraska or something, man. Go somewhere new, man. Try Denver, on, man. you know. No. No, no, don't, don't put Nebraska and El Paso in this. No, all right, all right never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, man, you know, El Paso, <laughs> Raleigh, you know what I'm saying? They all kind of the same for me, yeah. man. Like, I don't know. I, just, I feel different. I feel different. <laughs> I'm just kidding, El Paso has a fine place in my heart, man. But I'm not, but I'm I mean, Taco Cabana. But anyway. Yeah. 